Okay, so we're back with Dad, and um, he was telling stories about Grandma Johanna when she lived in Norway, and yeah. we were kind of talking about the story that she used to tell about when she was going, and I don't remember enough about it, but Dad will, about when they would have to go through the snow in the mountains and wolves would follow them. So go ahead and tell that well, story. Okay, well, anyway, they, uh, she was a foster, or living in a foster home, and they lived by a lake, and uh, in the winter time, the lake would get all froze over, and they'd have to walk what they called a, a Norwegian mile was seven American miles, oh. and uh, it was a mile to the <laughs> to the closest store down along that lake, and uh, she would go down there and get groceries and bring back to their foster parents, and. Uh, she said this one time they went. She went down, and uh, coming back, why she said it was getting dark, and she said the the neighbor that had uh, there was a young young man that uh, lived with his folks, and he seen her coming on the ice, and it was getting <coughs> getting pretty dark. So he went out and met her out there, and they and he followed her all the way back home, because it was dangerous because there were wolves around and and other probably other critters too was, that uh, you had to be careful of. So uh, anyway, she got back up to the house, and it was seven miles, you might say one way, and seven miles back. That's 14 miles for a young girl that was probably. Si six eight years old somewhere in there because that's about how old she was when when that happened wow. Wow. and so it is it is quite interesting to see or to hear all those stories that she told and it was there were so many things in the summertime and in the spring they would take the goats and the, and the sheep up into the mountains and uh, herd them up there so they could feed on the the, the fresh lush grass and everything and uh, they had to be careful wow. there, was, there was there was always wild animals trying to get at those goats and of course the goats would help keep them safe or keep the sheep safe because the, oh. the goats weren't really afraid of anything <laughs> like they just had that you <laughs> you probably hear you probably heard the story of the Oh, Billy Goat Gruff. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was something that uh, yeah. the the uh, uh, wolves and that, and and even vile dogs, they they wouldn't uh, mess with the wouldn't dogs. they wouldn't mess with uh, huh. with that Billy Goat. Wow. <laughs> he he'd take them and he'd knock them just a flying. <laughs> that must have been before sheep dogs. <laughs> I guess so. yeah. But those those are some of the stories I wow. can remember her telling me about. That's yeah. pretty neat. So. That's a that's a good story, Dad.